and we invited people in Port Hawkesbury to come out and watch the show, and many people did, including Catherine and Christopher McKinnon. Welcome. Thank you. What do you love about Port Hawkesbury? The people. The people are really great. They uh, work together as with the Civic Centre, and uh, they really support small business. What do you like about the Civic Centre? Mm, schools are good. Yeah, the schools? Okay. And the Civic Centre is great too? Yeah. I, would, I haven't played hockey anywhere else. Okay. It's better than this. Excellent. Thanks very much for coming. Glad to have you here. <laughs> and our Jim Nunn hails from the eastern mainland, and he knows this part of the province quite well. And he spoke to some people here and learned some surprising things. Here's his story. For two generations, they've come from Cape Breton and the mainland to work here on the shores of the beautiful Strait of Canso. In the process, they built the hard-working town they call Hawkesbury. They came for the jobs. Many have stayed because they've come to like the place. I hadn't seen Les McIntyre since St. of X. A master mariner, Les sailed the world before he came home to Hawkesbury and built a successful marine supply company. You've been on these waters for a long time. I have. For 45, 50 years ago, I started on a raft right over there, much to my parents' chagrin. And uh, swimming down here in the Swimming, playing with the other street. kids and so on. Les loves the challenge. It was he who moved the Malagawash Church to Iona. People have been predicting that Port Hawkesbury was about to boom since I was 10 years old. Yes, it just haven't been when, right. When's that going to happen? Well, I don't, I don't know if it's ever going to happen. <laughs> but it's growing steadily, and I think that's, that's what we want to see. And it's a good place to raise children? Are they, are they staying now or, or still going There's, away? Children will only stay if you can provide them with opportunity, and that's what I'd like to see. I don't want to get on a plane 23rd of December heading for Fort McMurray or somewhere to visit my grandchildren. I'd like to see other kids have that same opportunity. That's what the community's all about. You can't sit back and let the governments do it for us. <laughs> the, 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 nobody has to do. <laughs> My name is Barb McIntyre. Hi. And uh, this is the Quilting Guild from St. Mark's United Church, Port Hawkesbury. We meet every Wednesday afternoon. Oh, I'm going to help and, you? Yes, certainly. You can't sit here and not work. This quilt will never sell. <laughs> now, this, this is something I was sure I would never yes. do on television. The stitches are a little bit big, but uh -huh. that will improve. <laughs> Don't be critical now. I'm just starting. Isn't this on the wrong hand? No, the if right hand the... and the middle finger. Yeah. Yeah, you know. The idea is to load the needle with stitches and use the thimble to push them through. Oh, not, uh, bad. not bad. And then back down again. Down again. And then back up again. Back up. Back up. And then you use the thimble push. to push it through. Very with the good. Underneath. Oh, very good. I'm getting a very good. And well, good luck with it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet yeah. you all. Thank you very much. Perhaps you didn't know, some of Eastern Canada's finest harness horses are from Hawkesbury. My name is Joe Janega. I live in Port Hawkesbury. How are you, Joe? Who's, who's this? This is a three-year-old pacing filly by the name of River Eve. River Eve. And does she run well? Well, we're hoping so. You enjoy life here? Love it. Yeah? yeah. Been right across Canada. It's the best place I've ever been. We have everything here. I mean, if you want to raise a family, we have the best of schools. We have uh, recreational facilities, everything from swimming to hockey to curling to libraries to uh, we have everything out of anybody. And a stable, has too, where and you a can go and do what you like. That's right. Well, it's nice to meet you and your, uh, your racehorse. Good luck with her. Thank you very Hope much. You make a lot of money. Well, me too. <laughs> My name's Yvonne Manning. I'm a student at the NSCC Community College. And what made you decide to uh, take up welding? I took up welding because basically my grandfather got me very interested in it when I was younger. I always used to go in the garage and watch him weld. And uh, are you in the first year of your program? First year, yes. It's a two-year program? Two-year program. Will you get a job once you graduate from here? Most definitely. Where do you hope to work? Uh, Goldboro, actually. They have 3,500 jobs opening up in the next couple of years, so I'm hoping to get employed there. Welders make a lot of money? They make a lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of money. Good luck. Thank you very much. Port Hawkesbury's story is one of boom and bust. Once they made heavy water here, today the talk is of liquefied natural gas. But as a place to live, as with the beer, those who like it, like it a lot. We all can't live in this saga. <laughs> Happily. <laughs> Jim Nunn, CBC News, Port Hawkesbury.
Well, without question, this is one of the most popular rooms in the Civic Center. I'm now inside the brand new YMCA, and this is the place where lots of people, including Mayor Billy Joe McLean, are coming to know very, very well, especially since you issued the Mayor's Challenge to the people. Hi there. What is the challenge? I normally, uh, I'm a heart patient. I had open heart surgery five or six years ago. I thought with the opening of the new Civic Center and the Fitness Center, it'd be nice to have a Mayor's Challenge. So I've offered to lose 20 pounds in eight weeks, go to the gym every day, enjoy this beautiful facility, and it's been my dream. So I'm up to 12 pounds. Wow. Eight more to go. I'm dedicated. How many more weeks? Four more weeks. So I should be able to make my goal very easily. How many people have joined you and taken up on you on the challenge? I hear about 35, and they're all excited. They're all here. So we're going to be the healthiest town in Canada. <laughs> And uh, I hope you enjoy this beautiful facility. It, it is wonderful. Um, why do you think it's important that people peel off a few pounds? Well, I think being a heart patient, that to lose weight, uh, to stop smoking, to exercise, is follow the rules, and it's a wonderful experience. And it's also good for here. After you work out for an hour, you feel it going on the rest of the day. So I'm very, very, very proud of what we've done so far. My wife, Glenda, comes here, and she's doing very well. and. Uh, my family, and I'm encouraging some of my other eight kids to go, too. Well, it's a gorgeous facility to work out in. Thanks very much. Good luck with the challenge. Thank you very much. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Just down the road in Sydney, the East Coast Music Awards officially start today. This is the East Coast Awards weekend. After the break, Linda Kelly is going to bring us a story about women in the music industry. But first, Brandi McCarthy and her music. Welcome back to Port Hawkesbury. Tomorrow night we are in Sydney from Centre 200 for a special program on the East Coast Music Awards. But right now I'm at the Port Hawkesbury Civic Centre and uh, hey, what do you like about East Coast music? Got uh, a I like the beat. Um, not right off the top of my head, I like it all, you know. You like it it's all? all good, yeah. Anyone you're cheering for in the ECMAs this weekend? Is Great Big C going to be there? Yes, they are, as always. Then definitely Great Big C. All right. We'll hope that they win. All right. When you look at the list of nominees for Sunday's East Coast Music Awards, you may notice there is something missing. And Linda Kelly joins us now from Sydney for more on that. Hi, Linda. Hi, Norma Lee. Well, and Linda and I, a reminder to everyone, are going to be live at Centre 200 tomorrow night for a special program on the East Coast Music Awards. Look forward to that, Linda. All right, and there is one lucky person here at the Port Hawkesbury Civic Centre tonight. Barbara Cashin has won our draw. Two tickets to the ECMA Gala Awards show on Sunday night. Uh, everyone who came out tonight got a ballot, and they go to you. Two tickets. Have a good time. Thank you. What are you looking forward to? Oh, gosh, looking forward to, uh, to the ECMA and seeing the awards live. Oh, it's always a fantastic show. Yes. So have fun. Thank All you. All right, thank you. So where should we go next? If you would like Canada Now to come to your town, then we would like to get an invitation. Send us a note, an email, a phone call. Tell us about the stories that you would like to hear and where you would like us to go. Here's how to get in touch. So this has been Canada Now on the road, live from Port Hawkesbury. We are at this incredible Port Hawkesbury Civic Center. I want to thank everybody who just welcomed us into the town and uh, the people who invited us here. It's been wonderful. Thank you very much. Give yourselves a big hand for uh, this great facility. I'm Norma Lee McLeod, and I'll see you tomorrow from Centre 200 in Sydney. Now here's Ian Hanaman Singh.